Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's Combo Breaker 99 back on the fight front once again. Uh, we know it's a uh, Wilder Fury weekend, but uh, don't forget it is the Donna Stevenson versus Alexander Govesdick. Also, that's going to be on Showtime, uh, regular Showtime. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, Stevenson Govesdick, man. Um, this is pretty much the quickest turnaround for Donna Stevenson in a while, man. I mean, you know, his last fight was in May against uh, Badu Jack, who he fought to a draw. You know, now he faces his biggest, uh, second biggest challenge in a row. Uh, he's fighting a young, tough, undefeated fighter in uh, Alexander Gozik. Uh, Gozik, this is his first title shot at 15 and 0. You know, he's been taking out some of the vets and some of the common opponents of the other champions. Uh, he's been doing it in pretty quick fashion, so we're going to see if he's ready to take on a real champion, man. Um, Donna Stevenson, I've talked about in the past. You know, I've said that. Uh, you know, I've said it. I said he was going to be a dominant champion when he first won against uh, Chad Dawson. But since then, he's just uh, kind of been just been kind of defending his belt. You know, I mean, there is a difference between a dominant champion and someone who just has a belt for a long time. I mean, Stevenson had his belt for six years and, you know, he's had nine title defenses, but he's never really picked up any top names. I mean, there's a lot of solid guys out there. He just could have, you know. He could have had, but didn't, you know, not the Wards, the Kovalevs, the Better BFs, or even a leader Alvarez, man, like whose stock has gone up after knocking Kovalev out. You know, that was an opponent that Adonis Stevenson could have faced, but, you know, they, they kind of skipped out on fighting him two times whenever Alvarez was his mandatory. So now Stevenson is trying to express interest in trying to take on these bigger challenges now, you know, these, you know, these champions like Better BF, you know, he, he wants to fight somebody like Goldstick now, but... But at 41, is it too late for him to go for these goals? I mean, look where Kovalev is at right now. You know, he's a few years younger than him. And I, again, goes it 10 years younger. He's 31. I've been watching this guy. You know, he's a tall, solid fighter. He's six foot three, uh, very mobile, almost like Alexander Usyk. You know, he likes to throw a lot of punches, uh, very nimble. Box from the outside. Throw, like I said, throws those high number of combinations. I think he has some underrated power in his right hand. Um, Right now, though, his experience is just low, but his uh, motivation for a title is high. Um, Stevenson, I think if he wants to win this, man, he's going to have to go in this fight and control the pace early. You know, don't let Gozik start building an early lead with his out punch output. You know, don't depend just on the left hand. Try to box him a little bit. Uh, Stevenson should back him up early. Try to go to that body and take the legs away of Gozik to keep him from uh, using those angles and trying to throw a lot of punches. And um, definitely test the chin early. You know, if you got the power, use it. You know, I feel like he should definitely try to test that chin early because if Stevenson can get him out of there early, the better. You know, someone 10 years younger, you don't want to be in there with 12 rounds with. And um, the inside, you know, I think that's uh, Stevenson's game. I think he can capitalize there. Uh, Gozik likes to kind of move around and have more space. So if Stevenson goes in and kind of smothers him, he can rough him up early. And um, just going back and looking at that uh, Tommy Kar Karpinski fight, you know, he's a southpaw. Whenever he fought Gozik, he was able to land that that right hook over the top of uh that southpaw right hook over the top of uh um goes dick jab you know and uh he hit him pretty hard and he had him on his back uh so that's one of the things i noticed noticed and kind of noticed about goes dick as of lately you know he kind of lacks the head movement you know he's just kind of tall and straight up he kind of fights tall but at the same time you know just too straight up where his chin is wide open for those shots so you know stevenson if he kind of dictate dictates the pace early goes to the body early he can go up top with those head shots you know over the top of um Govzik's jab uh Govzik, him being the younger fresher guy you know right away makes stevenson move and use his legs you know um stevenson i never really thought of him having the best footwork you know he can kind of take him off balance a little bit you know start jabbing him early moving at angles to try to set up his right hand um he has to give stevenson those different looks as far as like timing his combinations you know keep uh stevenson from countering use his height but don't keep the head on the line you know you know he's got to keep that head moving because uh stevenson if he shoots that straight left right up the middle he's gonna knock him out so apply pressure you know don't go too far on the inside but just apply enough pressure to keep the, um stevenson kind of guessing and keep him intimidated but just make it a boxing match early and take it in the later rounds you know and if the counters come that's how it goes they can end it um prediction I gotta go with Stevenson. Very in a very very close fight, you know. Um, and I'm not very confident with that. I'm just going with him because I think his experience is still what can pull him out of a rocky start. 
after a few of the first rounds of feeling out Stevenson, I think that um, Stevenson can close the distance and start time and goes it. I think the inside work of Stevenson can slow him down. That lack of head movement from Gozik, that's going to be a Donna Stevenson advantage. And I think he'll win a competitive decision, but don't be surprised if someone gets dropped in this fight. So um, I'm going to have to say 60-40 if Gozik's determination is higher than it. Stevenson's ability to show his experience on fight night, then the outcome might be different. But um, yeah, that's my call on this one. I think it's going to be an interesting fight, man. It could, it could be a passing of the torch, man. We just don't know, man. Uh, Stevenson's 41 years old, so... We'll see, man. But um, let me know what you guys think. I'm actually kind of excited for this fight, you know, just to see uh, where it goes from here. Uh, what a Donna Stevens can prove at 41 years old. But uh, let me know what you guys think of this fight, who you think is going to win. Uh, again, make sure y'all subscribe to Combo Breaker 99 as well as the Jab Effect on YouTube. Combo Breaker 99, I'm out. Peace.